let's take a look at the basic Pantheon workflow and just get an overview of what tools Pantheon is actually providing here. So in this lesson, I'm just going to do a very, very brief overview of the different workflow environments that you get and how you are expected to use them. And then very briefly, we'll talk about how you can actually access your code so you can begin using the workflow. So you get three environments with Pantheon out of the box. So every time you create a site, you have tabs for three different environments, dev, test, and live. They are each a separate website, so but it's the same site. So you're basically making a complete copy of a site, and then it lives in parallel with the others. And so you make changes to one, it doesn't necessarily reflect on the other. Yeah, this is really handy because you're working with identical sites rather than eh, sort of close-ish, and they're all in the same infrastructure. So you know that the server and all of those things, there's nothing funky about the version of PHP or anything like that that is different between those environments. And Pantheon provides you with some nice UI tools for reviewing and merging and deploying your code changes throughout these environments. And the general idea here is that code goes up and content comes down. So let's talk about that in a little more detail. This is the basic idea for a, a best practices workflow. This isn't just a Pantheon thing. This is best practices in web development and Pantheon is just providing the environments and the tools for you to be able to use it very easily without having to set it up yourself. So you would start doing your development on a development version of the site. You just begin building it, you're doing your thing, and that's where all of the dirty things are happening and bugs probably are in there that still need to be fixed and that kind of a thing. So you have your development environment. Now, once you have things fixed and you would like to send those up to your real live site, you first want to put those at a stopping point where someone can test it, um, also sometimes referred to as QA or quality assurance site. So what you want to do is you want to copy your site and then you want to push the code and the changes that you've been making in development into this test site. And then people can bang on that site. They can find the bugs. They can see what's going on in a stable environment that's not changing. And this allows you to continue to do development on the other site. A problem that you can often encounter uh, if you don't have this, this intermediate step here for, for testing is that if you test on your development server, then that means all development has to stop while testing is going on because you can't keep changing things for people to test. So that's what's nice about separating those into two different concerns with two different sites. So you take your dev, you push it up to test, people are testing it while developers are still working away. And then once you're ready to go and you've approved what's happening on the test server, then you would deploy that out to your live site. And then you would start the process all over again. So code always moves up. You're fixing things and you're just going to move it through that system. Now for content, what you want to do is you want to make sure that your dev and your test environments are accurate and up to date with what's going on. And so you can bring content down from your live site because people are still doing stuff on the live site, right? It's out there. People are adding content and doing things to it. So what you want to do is bring that content back down to your test and your dev environments so that you make sure that you're matching the live site as closely as possible while you're doing your work. And Pantheon provides nice tools that let you push your code from dev to test and from test to live. And then they also have something that will allow you to bring your content down. So you don't have to do any of that manually. You can let Pantheon kind of handle the inner workings of making that happen for you. Now, when it comes to connecting to your code, so you can begin working on your workflow, when you create a new site, you have two ways of accessing the code. Uh, you can have SFTP, which is the default setting. So that would be a secure file transfer protocol where you would log in to the server using an FTP client, and then you can edit the files and replace files and move them around and that kind of a thing. And then there's also Git, which is sort of the standard way for keeping track of your code using version control is an amazing tool, so much better than SFTP in a lot of ways. So if you're at all familiar with Git, or if, uh, if it's something that you uh, are curious about, I would highly recommend that you explore using Git. For Git, one thing to keep in mind is you have to have SSH keys. And we have another lesson that talks about 
um, how you would enter your SSH keys into Pantheon so that Pantheon will recognize your, your Git connections uh, when you need to start working with the code. But you can choose either method to access the code that you would then use the UI to push those changes through. And you can get that connection information in your site dashboard. So this was a short video just to give you an overall sense of what Pantheon's providing for you in terms of workflow environments and how uh, and what the expectation is for how you're supposed to use dev, test, and live. And then we talked real briefly about how to access your code so you can begin using this workflow and get your code moving from dev to test to live.